So I've been getting some requests on a tutorial about how to AI, so I thought I'd make this video to talk you through the basics. Um, I'll be using the robot Cedric Slammer. This was one that I'd planned to do a full Let's Build on, but there was so much footage of me dithering around that I could not keep all the good stuff. Um, by which I, I mean, I have to record everything. Um, and when I went in, I had no idea which would be the good takes and which would be the outtakes. So anyways, um, I'll just give you the final product now. It's got the flywheel, spins like that. Should be, should do a nice bit of damage. Um, and I chose Cedric Slammer for this because it has the unique feature of a Sremek that is not a weapon. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you that when Cedric Slammer's on his back, pops out like so to hopefully write him. Um, I'll wait till series three and we'll see how well it works. Um, so anyways, how do you do this? Um, these are your basic controls. Um, forward is what you label the one that you want to turn, or go forward rather. Um, left, right is the controls that make it turn. Um, spin to spin the flywheel. And for the SREMEC, you label it SREMEC and give it a control. So it goes like that. Um, so this is it in its complete form. So I'll go ahead and export it. And um, I'll go back to the desktop. <laughs> so I couldn't figure out how to make Fraps record the desktop, so I used screenshots instead. Um, still should be pretty clear. I took a lot of them, so <laughs> let's go ahead through them. Um, so first we go ahead to the Robot Arena 2 DSL directory folder and navigate to AI. In there, um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I happen to know that all the slots are full, so what we're going to do is take one of these team folders, that's where the AI bots live, and make a copy of it. And you have to go in sequential order, team 61, team 62, otherwise it won't work. So that's the new one right there. Next, we go into the, we have to go into the teams folder, it's a txt file. Um, and here's what it looks like. Um, it's got lines of code for each team. Each one is like this, index, and then the number. Uh, below it is the team name. Below that is the team slogan. And below that is the team's um, logo. So we're going to copy all this paraphernalia. This is starting at index number, going all the way down. Um, copy all that. And paste it. Now change the index number to 1up62. Um, we'll call it Rossetti's Wars 3A, since this is the first Rossetti's Wars bot that I've put in. <coughs> um, series, series 3, not a very creative logo. And we'll change the, the logo to um, Rossetti.bmp. You'll see what that is a little later on. So next, we go on ahead back into the um, robot designs folder in the main directory, and we take Cedric Slammer, copy it, and we go back to Team 62 and paste it in. Um, as you can see, the bots are labeled bot 0 through bot 5, so what we're going to do is rename Cedric Slammer to bot zero and get rid of the old one. Uh, so now Cedric Slammer is in, but we have to program him. So we go on ahead to the bindings. It's a py file. Um, this can be opened with any text editor, but it will not work in basic Notepad. You need something like Notepad++, which is what I'm using here. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Um, each team is nicely organized. This number 61 and team name, not necessary, but good for keeping your stuff organized. 
what we're going to do is copy the entire thing here, all six bots from Team 61, um, paste them and change the name, um, just basic housekeeping. And then what we're going to do is take the first bot and rename it to Cedric Slammer, um, change the change the um, type of bot from directional spinner to Omni, and I'll go on ahead through a few of the um, commands. Um, I'll just go through a couple basics. Knows that's which way is forward for the bot. Um, it's done in radians, so um, pi times 2 would be a full 360 degrees, so you take whatever fraction of that. It's usually a, usually a quarter. Um, invertible. Um, this, if it's not invertible, you usually don't need to put anything, but if your bot has a SRIMAC, you do need to specify that it's not invertible. Otherwise, it's not going to know that it has to use its SRIMAC when it gets flipped. Weapons is another good one to know. Um, that basically gives each component a number so that um, the bot knows that if all the components in that list have fallen off that it's now weaponless and it should switch to um, something like ramming or pushing. So to find out which component corresponds to which number there's a program called the bot exporter. Um, you just go ahead and open up the your bot file in this program and here's Cedric Slammer and as you can see you got a number for each component and what we're seeing now is the components attached directly to the base plate so you click on one of those plus signs and it expands I've gone ahead and clicked on the series that of components that leads to the um, spinner and the these beater bars are the things that it needs. Um, once they fall off, it's just got a flywheel that, I guess, gums away at its opponent. It's toothless. So as you can see, the components, each of the beaters, 27, 28, 29, 30, those are the numbers that we put in there. And now we're ready to go back into Robot Arena 2. Um, I've set up an exhibition match, and now I'm going to go down see there's the new team Rossetti's Wars 3A there's my logo that I made for it um, you can see we got the um, slogan there and Cedric's in there so here's a bit of battle footage of me as Thorak fighting Cedric um, we're testing out the stream mech here and there we go he's on his back whatever show he do maybe he's the stream mech there we go and that's it. Cedric is all ready to fight in Series 3. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, learned some stuff from it. Also, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A video. It's what all the cool people are doing. Um, just curious if anybody wants to know anything about the man behind the replicas. Um, so if you have any questions, post them below. Um, if I get enough good questions, i.e not asking me about Series 3, um, and I'll do a Q&A video, perhaps with me talking over footage of testing out some new bots for Series 3. So if anybody wants to know anything about the man behind the replicas, who in my personal opinion is a very interesting person, um, go ahead and post them. Till next time, this is Resetti's Replicas, and that's how you pronounce my name.